Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, available at Amazon right now. Hello, this is Ranger Rob, and welcome to the Ranger Rob Country Living. Today, we're going to change the tires on our Gorilla Cart because we got a flat tire. And I understand a lot of people that have the Gorilla Carts get flat tires. So we ordered two new tires, tubeless, from Home Depot, and we're going to go change them out. The other thing I was going to point out to you, we have finally discovered it's time to get something for our shoes because of the chicken pen. So we finally put one of these guys near the front door. And so anyway, Sherry's on her way out to the uh, gorilla cart right now. And uh, turns out the gorilla cart tires come off super easy. Uh, it's just a little pin. You pull it out, uh, turn a little ring out, the tires pull right off. So now we just got to see how hard it is. So really all we had to do was pull this little pin out and I got a helper right there. Uh, this little pin and the tires came right off. Super easy. Now we got to see how hard it is to put them back on. So these are our tires. They uh, feel like hard plastic. Yeah, they do. They look a little different. We're going to go ahead and change both back tires. And uh, they definitely look a little different than the tires we had before. And they come with a couple of washers and some basic instructions. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Just flip it down. That's it. That's it. That's way too easy. Well, is that too tight? Because you want to want... No, that's perfect. How long should be approximately when it's seven A little bit less than that, but it's pretty good. Is this on the inside? Put your washers on first. I mean, I can take one of the washers off if it's too tight. That's pretty darn good. And that's it. <laughs> <laughs> so that was pretty uneventful. So uh, we do have, the tires are definitely different, so buying two at a time is probably a good idea. So uh, we'll see. Um, at least we can hold on to one of the good ones in case one of our front tires go out. But uh, wow, so so easy. So guys, uh, if you're having trouble with your Gorilla Cart, need new tires, we ordered those from Home Depot. They cost $49 for two. $49.99. $49.99 for two tires from Home Depot. And they, sent the washers, and they send you extra washers and stuff for spacing. So there you go, guys. So I thought I'd show you a side version. You can see the tires are definitely different. But uh, it works. Tubeless. The tubeless and if the other two go out, we'll do the same thing. But uh, <laughs> kind of remi <laughs> reminds me of those guys that have flat tires and use those little spares in the back. The little donuts. The little donuts. It's like, oh, I got donuts now. <laughs> anyway. Glad to get that fixed because when you load this thing up and it's got a low tire, it's definitely harder to pull. So with our project coming up, we know that we're going to be building our greenhouse with cattle panel, but we don't have the white truck we had before to, to bring them here. So our mission is to find out if this canopy with the tailgate down measures over 50 inches, then we can put them in here. because. You fold them and put them in and they stick out stuff so we could pull it off so we're gonna find out <laughs> it's a lot easier to open the tailgate now now that I fixed the tailgate so what's our measurement from here to here is it over 50 inches Can you hold it up there not even close Oh my gosh. 48. Well, that's a problem. 
This is where you call your sun. Luckily, I have a sun that has a pickup without a canopy. Well, that's good to know. <laughs> that would have been a problem. <laughs> you got to check these things out, people. So our viewers out there, especially if you have a homestead or farmstead, what are you doing about moles? As you can see, I'm constantly pressing down their holes. and I've got one that's been kind of busy over here. <coughs> and I've got some other spots in the property that have hills too. I need to know what the best technique is to use to get rid of moles and I don't want it to be harmful to my animals. So what do you do for your moles? Um, I mean, uh, do you just live with it and press down their holes and then just let the grass grow through it again? Um, I'm just going to show you over here uh, in this grass. Same thing. I got moles over here. It's probably hard to see with the camera to like walk out a little darn faster. Um, but as you can see, I've got moles here too. And they do make pretty good mounds. They've been busy. And normally we'll press them down because we got to do a lot more. But what do you do? To get rid of moles and in this grass too we've got the moles what's your opinion do you use a trap I don't want to use a poison so uh, I'm really befuddled of what to do about the moles so uh, hey we got them they could be gophers too uh, yeah we get the little marmots here too uh, so anyway, love to hear your opinion, opinion down in the comments below. How do you address moles in your property? So we have something really weird going on. So over here with a... You see, you see this little bird? I know this is a, not the right camera for it. Let me see how close I can. But this little bird keeps flying up to the window of the fifth wheel. I'm going to try to get a little closer. I'm not really sure what he's trying to do. Either he just thinks he's seeing a friend or something, but he, we were hearing this fluttering. Oh, he's done now. But uh, if you guys know what the heck that bird's trying to do, but he's just coming up to the tree up here and flying up to the window where I think he sees himself. Maybe he's bored. Well, we're getting ready to wrap this video up. And uh, I know you probably had a hard time seeing that bird. <laughs> anyway, but during that time, uh, Sherry and I sat down, started going through the schematics for our new uh, greenhouse. And uh, this Monday, we're going to go to Miller Lumber, see if we can do a large order. I got the sun in the wrong place here. And. Uh, this is the area that we're going to put the greenhouse. It looks like, rough numbers, we can build it for around $1,000. And if you look at kits and, and things like that, I think uh, we're going to save a little money. Of course, you know, we, we're kind of customizing ours. Um, so uh, it'll look very similar to the chicken pen with a curvature at the top. Uh, the whole thing is going to be built with 2x4s and a couple of 4x4s on the corners. Uh, we've, pl you know, we've plotted out our plastic. We're going to look at it getting a 21 by 55 piece of plastic. Um, and uh, plastic will go over the top, cut it off, and then use the other extra for the ends. <coughs> um, think we're going to be able to do it for around a thousand bucks. Now of course we got to put shelving and uh, above ground planters inside it. So let's say twelve hundred bucks. So I think uh, I think that's going to be our budget for that. Yes, 
a lot of dough but it will last a long time and uh, we may enjoy growing things in that um, we call it it's going to be a green, greenhouse but a kind of a high tower at the same time and of course this whole area um, we're going to devote a lot of it to corn and see if we can have success with that um, and then otherwise we're going to do a lot of plants that spread out a lot like uh, uh, cucumbers and stuff and we're going to actually use the fabric woven cloth on that so that's going to cost a pretty penny too so guys if you're in a if you think about becoming a homesteader uh, you better have a little wad of cash uh, handy because your first year you're going to be spending money on things that you know I've bought in wood chippers and rototillers and uh, of course we got repairs in the house that's different hopefully you can get a place you have to do new roofs and siding um, but uh, yeah not a cheap thing to do um, the more you can do yourself the more you can find scrap wood the better that's really not I mean the scrap wood is not the route we're gonna go we want our lumber to last a long time but yeah uh, just food for thought be prepared to have a little chunk of change handy for getting set up uh, if you're buying animals uh, feeders on and on it adds up um, so be prepared for that don't be shocked that's all I'm telling you so guys we're gonna head on out <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> and not to get run over and uh, uh, don't forget to like subscribe and share our videos all over the whole wide world we appreciate it um, we did our first live stream um, last week and uh, it was fun uh, we're a little nervous of doing our first one Sherry and I've never done our own uh, I've done lots of live streams for radio but anyway uh, I'm gonna try to do that every one or maybe two times a month we'll see anyway uh, we'll try to be more timely and more give people a heads up so be prepared on it in the comments below also when do you think the best time is to do a, a live stream based on your time factor when is the best time that you feel works good for watching a half hour to an hour live stream with questions and answers uh, we'd love to hear your opinion on that anyway guys gotta go take care bye now thank you very much for watching our video please take the time to like subscribe and share our videos all over the whole wide world thanks